How was that? That was insane. Like, I, like I hardly felt it. So, time for another road trip. It's been a while. We are doing the Ranger Raptor. We have it for about a week, and I have decided that it seems like a sensible idea to bring it out in. Uh, I don't even sure where we are. Like the middle of nowhere. A um, couple of mountain passes, maybe the Swartberg Pass. But okay, so we have the Raptor. Uh, kind of lank dirty already. Uh, this side seems to have gotten the brunt of it. Um, we're about to hit Sivivet Port, which is in there. This honestly is one of my favorite roads ever to drive. Um, so this is the first of like a bunch of passes. We're probably going to end up doing 10 different passes. So Sivivet Port. The deeper we venture into the mountains, the more of these little river crossings we have to deal with. So we managed to make it to the top of the Swartberg Pass. It's very misty, it's very wet. There are signs at the bottom that say that the road is closed. I wanted to see where the road is closed. I'm looking now. Altitude's 1568 and the summit is 1583. So we're about 20 meters from the very top of the Swartberg Pass. Um, that thing, that thing is just phenomenal. Like honestly, driving that in town is an absolute waste. Driving out here through rivers and stuff has just been incredible. Nothing just to one of the best off-road cars I've ever driven. So they seem pretty adamant that the road is closed, but um, we made it from that. So um, no road closures. It's absolutely fine to drive. Um, probably do need a 4x4 off-road kind of vibe, but um, that was a fantastically, fantastically beautiful drive through the Swartberg Park. We've hit um, Maidensport and the damage looks severe. There's been some proper, proper rain through here in the last couple of weeks. Camping about two weeks ago and the day after we left, most of Georgia and I stuff flooded. So I suspect it's the same rain. There's been a lot of rain here today. So this is tarred. It's not off-road like the other mountain passes. This would be the third mountain pass today. And um, the Swartberg is just phenomenal. I mean, you kind of, you do Sierra VX one way through the Swartberg and then you do the Swartberg pass over the Swartberg and then you go along and then you do Maidens put through the Swartberg again. Um, it's just, it's an incredibly, incredibly beautiful part of the world. Um, water's flowing proper, lots of sign of flooding and mud and cleanups and all kinds of stuff going on here. Um, but yeah, so I think that wraps up the mountain passes for today. Hi there and welcome to day two of the how many mountain passes can we drive on the Raptor? Um, Oton Equa Pass, uh, first one of the day. All the noisy cars driving past. So we're gonna hit the Ochenequa Pass, down left onto Montague Pass, and see where we go from there. Montague Pass, you literally come over the Ochenequa Pass. You're not even at the bottom of the pass here, and you can hang a left, and you get onto the. Montague Pass and it literally goes like back the other way. So the Otanequa Pass 
comes kind of, if you're in George, looking at the mountain, Otanekwa Pass comes over from the left and uh, Montague Pass goes over to the right. So we've literally driven over the Otanekwa Mountains, turned around and driving back on his car, on his dirt. <laughs> this raptor is so good off road. Ha <laughs> ha. Okay, so with all the rain they've had here, they do say the road is closed. Well, kind of closed. Since when has that stopped us? So let's go see how far we can get on a closed road. Okay, so it looks like the road is all but falling apart again. So neutral, low range. Um, going to select mode. Let's go for rock. It works. And let's see how we do. Whoops. Put it back in drive. It's a matter of like navigating your way through here. Like what is the best route to take? Of course, we get stuck up here, we pretty screwed. Actually, maybe we should walk this route first. No, let's, work it. let's go have a look at what we're about to get ourselves into, and then decide whether we can do it or not turn around. Okay. So, we walked it. We think we will be okay. Let's um, turn it on up off though. Um, so, we've got full low. We have engaged rock mode. Um, I don't need sun loss, it's not that bright. And we have actually found some people up here. There's a repair crew. So Joey's gonna give me some guidance. Left, right. It's helpful having somebody on the outside telling me what to do, where to go, straight not. This could be real fun. Straight, keep it right. It's like nerve wracking. This car is so big, like you can't actually see where you're going. I'm just absolutely gobsmacked, honestly, at how good this thing is off road. Like it just, it's not struggling. It's not like slipping, it's driving some of the most horrendous roads. This is absolutely bananas to make it through that. Like I thought I'd bring this wrapped up here, do a bit of off-road more. I do a bit of off-road, you know, get it out of the city, drive this thing where when all people kind of don't drive, you know? I was not expecting to encounter this kind of stuff. And that's actually like the worst of it. Like we walked it. There's a bit of a, a ledge coming up here, which is problematic. Um, Joey. Joey, are we gonna go right? Okay, we did decide we're going right. Open, open the window, I can hear all the noises. It's just like rocks moving under the tires. This is, this is bananas, man. This is absolutely bananas. And this is doing so. And it's like a heavy car as well. And this could be like two tons plus. Straight, just to keep it straight. Literally, that was a massive ledge. I was worried about getting up that ledge. And this raptor's driven up the ledge like it's nothing. Holy cow. Okay, this raptor 
now takes my number one car for driving off road. Like, I am convinced that there is not a car in the world that is better than this. How is that? That was insane. Like, I, like I hardly felt it. Once or twice it slipped. But outside of that, it just, it just drove like there's nothing going on. It's ridiculous. Like, this is now number one. I was just saying to the camera now, like, this is my number one off-road car. I've never driven anything that's as good with it. Right, so now I kind of understand why they said road closed, but we made it um, sort of through that stretch. No idea what lies ahead of us. But just like massive kudos to this Raptor. It is just, it's actually just the most incredible road, off-road car. Like, just handled that like a champ. So, um, so yeah, let's uh, carry on going. So we're about halfway through Prince Albert Drive, uh, Prince Albert, is that thing called? A pass. That's <laughs> all we've been doing. Um, road here has been significantly better than uh, Montague Pass, so we haven't done any weird 4x4ing or low range mode. Um, pretty much got the Raptor in four wheel drive, high range and gravel mode. And it's been great. It's been a really, really good good drive um coming up though is the nice forest i suspect that is going to be a little bit more rutted and worn than what we have on this side of the mountain so like the otaniko mountain actually rains a lot more on the forest side than this side so it's a lot more arid here so i think that side could be a little more challenging um and then that'll be the third pass of the day and then the sixth in total and then we're going to hit the seven passes She's gunning it from um, she's gunning it from Nisner to George. So uh, yeah, it's just been, been an amazing drive. The weather's been fantastic. It's like overcast but not cold. Um, so not like baking in the sun or anything weird like that. It's just been a lack of drive. And this raptor has been remarkably comfortable on this road. This is a Raptor appreciation stop. It's properly dirty. Those wheels are properly dirty. Everything's properly dirty and it just keeps going. It's been such a good drive. But the real reason we stopped was that. Right, and that is the end of the Nisna Forest. It has been an absolutely gorgeous drive through the forest, especially when it's sort of rainy and wet. 
Um, good chow in Neisner, just get something to eat, something to drink, and then hit the road and go find some more mountain passes. A couple more we can drive before we get to Jordan. Pass number four of the day, uh, Phantom Pass, short little run from the bottom of sort of exit of Meisner, bottom of the hill, to um, the top of the Rienendahl Road. And then you hang a right. I think this counts as one of the seven, I'm not sure. Hang a right here and club it, and there's a bunch more passes. The Homtini Pass, Wiggerkroll Pass. And right, so, Karatara Pass. That is the Toe River Bridge. And mountain pass number 12 would be the Silver River Bridge. So at this point we're kind of running parallel with wilderness which explains all the um, beautiful foliage. Um, gosh it is gorgeous to be here. Um, and this is the Caymans River Pass, so that would be the 13th pass in two days, which is quite impressive. And I think this is the seventh of the seven passes. I mean, I couldn't even tell you all the pass names now again, but I think we counted seven. Um, anyways, so this is number 13, and um, it's been an absolute chore. I mean, pretty sure George is just around the corner. Also, I've never driven this road. I've done done seven passes I did that in Amarok a couple of months back but I kind of entered from wilderness I didn't do this wilderness to George stretch so this is um totally new to me and it's absolutely beautiful to here. so I know it's like Christmas and all but how often do you see random turkeys walking along the road Okay, we're going to see whether there is, in fact, a way around this, because I'm just so not in the mood to <laughs> backtrack now. Oh, man, this road has been on my list to drive for, like, the longest time. Up here? On here? And there. Around here. You can you drive around there. there and get down there. You think you can make it on there? Yeah, I can make it down there. Or like, without the bumping? Yeah, but then if we come back, if the road is not passable, and we yeah. come back, we're able to get back up there. Yeah. You come here and you come at this angle. I'm pretty sure you can get up like up. And you can't if we cut this. No, we're not going to cut it. We're going to damage this stuff. Um, I'm just worried at how securely they've closed. I mean, every other road closed we've been past has been like... It's yeah, closed, but, but it's like not it's really... It's a hard road. Yeah, but this is... So, I think that's pretty much that. Um, we've taken a walk down there and... Uh, can't actually see the damage but the way they've closed this road off is uh, pretty serious don't know what the damage looks like we probably could get around that tree over there but we don't know what the damage looks like and if we get through the damage we're at the other side and it's similarly closed off we can't get through there then we need to come back traverse the damage come out here like a bunch of idiots and then drive back anyway so I think at this point we're gonna go back to the wilderness section hang around right, get down to wilderness and um, Call it a trip. So what was that, Joey? 13? 14? 12. 12. It was 12. What? That, we're not missing a pass. Is this a pass? I don't know. So I think we hit 12 or 13. I'd have to count when I edit the video. So whatever I say now is probably completely irrelevant. But thank you for watching. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for letting us drive the Raptor. This has been the real star of this video. It's properly dirty. It um, handled like an absolute champ. It did a bunch of stuff that I was not expecting it to be able to do. Um, yeah, this like, little 2 liter engine stuck in the front has done a tremendous job. 
and it's been an absolute jaw driving this around the Western Cape. So thanks for watching and uh, cheers.